I'm Rob Bolter. I'm the Dean of the Episcopal Cathedral of the Incarnation in Baltimore. And I want to invite you to join us for the whole celebration of Holy Week, four very, very special events that take place over the course of that week, which is coming right up. We start with Palm Sunday. Now, at the Cathedral of the Incarnation, Palm Sunday is all about this triumphant entrance into Jerusalem. We're going to be talking about the story of Jesus entering into the holy city and what he's met with, which is crowds that are excited and clapping and waving palms and shouting, Hosanna to the highest. And then we have Maundy Thursday. And that is the day when we remember the Last Supper. We remember that Jesus gathered with his closest friends and he broke the bread and he shared the wine and he said, do this to remember me. Do this to know that God loves you and God is with you. And then we have Good Friday. And this year for Good Friday, we're going to be telling the passion story as is told to us through the Gospel of Matthew. The first thing we do is we hear that powerful story again of Jesus being put on trial, falsely accused, and then being put to death, put to death on a cross. And at the end of our Good Friday observance, we have a time where you can gather at the cross to pray and to remember. And then finally, we have a special service on the Saturday before Easter, the Great Easter Vigil. This is a time when we hear the ancient stories of the people of Israel. We start in darkness, we light the Paschal fire, we share the stories, and then we remember that the crucifixion is not the end of the story. And then our Easter celebration continues on Easter Sunday. We have three services on Easter Sunday, eight, at 9.15 and at 11. The theme of the day is resurrection. Out of the darkness comes the light of Christ's joy. God's love for us is so powerful that not even death can hold it down. That's why we celebrate. And that's what we try to do throughout the whole of Holy Week. It's a journey of four important moments in the life of Jesus and in the life of us as Christians who follow Jesus. I hope you'll join us.